let's try it one more time. What is the weather right now? Very frustrating, guys. Um, really don't know why this is happening. If I ask you how smart is your car, probably you can't answer that question because most of the car nowadays can talk to you directly. But especially in Tesla, if you have the latest and greatest update 2025.26.4, you have Grok and you can ask anything or have some fun with Grok. So we're going to test how Grok works in our Tesla and how especially FSD works in Newark, Long Island. So we are going to our first location. I engage FSD and tell the car, please take me over there. And the car is started moving. Very good job. And if you're not familiar with me, my name is Anantra Mohamed and I love to film Tesla full self-driving videos in New York. We're going to make a left turn. This is unprotected left turn. We're going to stop on this stop sign creep a little bit to look on our left side and right side and if there is nothing we can make this left turn so we're gonna see how fsd handles this whole drive there is no vehicle on our both side but the car is taking its time now we are moving very very good it takes a little time i really don't know why because probably we just started the video and fsd is kind of relaxed or something i really don't know it just takes its time while there is no vehicle so we're moving though as i was telling you in the intro that i have the latest and greatest software version that is 2025.26.4 with grok and uh, what you can do with grok is what you can activate that we have a grok button right over here in the main screen you have the grok icon and it will uh, pop up and it will listen to you what you're saying or what you can do is press that acceleration like on the steering wheel there's a um, uh, steering wheel uh, scroll button you can press once that will pop up that normal regular voice um, assistant and if you press like a little bit for three seconds it will pull up grok so now you can uh, say anything to grok hey grok can you tell me a um, joke that my listener or watch viewers will subscribe to my channel? Please go ahead. It is not even talking. So first thing first is not responding. So hey Grok, um, can you please uh, tell a joke on so that people who is watching right now just hit that subscribe button. Why did the smartphone go to therapy? It had too many absolutely terrible relationships. Tell your viewers to subscribe so they don't miss more tech-tastic jokes like this. Are you a Tesla FSD beta tester? Stop scrolling. The FSD beta bumper magnet is a must-have. This sleek durable magnet clearly signals that your Tesla is in self-driving mode. It's easy to apply, easy to remove, and the perfect accessories for embracing the future of autonomous driving. Don't miss out. Grab yours on Amazon today. So you can see it pauses a few times. I really don't know. Is it because of uh, the internet connection or something? But the car is kind of paused twice or grok just to tell us the story. Really don't know why it didn't happen with me previously, but it is it is something new that I noticed. Right now you can see in the graphics that the icon, the mic icon is blocked so that it's not listening to me, but I can start that with pressing for three seconds or just tapping on the screen. So let's see if Grok can tell me the weather. Uh, what is the weather right now? Hey Grok, uh, what is the weather right now? Yeah, I say, it is saying me that a connection error occurred. I really don't know why, but I'm going to launch the Grok app again and it will should connect that. So what is the weather right now? Again, same thing, the connection error occurred. So let's try it one more time. What is the weather right now? Yeah. He's failing. Very frustrating, guys. Um, really don't know why this is happening. Probably we are in suburb. It should have, doesn't have problem because I normally get network over here. A little bit of phantom breaking here when merging into that yield area. 
Uh, we really don't need to yell if there is no car, but the car hesitated a little bit. I will change the location one more time and then we're gonna talk to Grok a little bit more and we're gonna find out how FSD and Tesla, um, um, you know, like works right over here. So the car is trying to get a space right over here. It is going a little bit very nice. You can see that it makes that a space and it stopped right over there. Very good. So we restore destination. So FSD is working perfectly but the grok is not so we're gonna test more but before we do that we change the location let's do it guys so i engage fsd for the second time and we are moving and now i'm gonna engage grok one more time what's the weather right now what's the weather right now so you can see that the graphics is moving while I'm talking, but it is not answering. Oh, wow. It, don't, it started working. Can you tell me that again, please? Repeat. Sure. It's around 82 degrees Fahrenheit right now. Yeah, it is kind of lagging right now. Really don't know why. And the car is taking us to this narrow road and we are moving as you can see. And I really wish we go to a new road where we can test some narrow road testing. Our car is moving as you can see. And the car will stop on the stop sign and then it's gonna go straight. So let's find out how FSD handles. There is no other car on our left side, right side. We can definitely proceed. And our car proceeded perfectly. You can see everything clearly. And I'm gonna change the navigation one more time. Let's do it, guys. So I engage FSD for the third time. We stop for the stop sign. We're gonna make a left turn right over here, as you can see, and our car is moving. So FSD is working amazingly, guys. So just want to tell you that FSD is kind of soft. I didn't see anything very dangerous FSD is doing till now uh, with Hardware 3 especially because I use Hardware 3 vehicle. As you all know that if you're a regular viewer of this channel, please hit that subscribe button. You are not because in this channel, we normally make Tesla FSD videos, I give you update on that and, you know, test a few new version here and there. So we are going, we're going to stop on a stop sign and the upcoming stop sign. Um, let's find out how FSD handles this whole drive and then we're going to do some unprotected left turn while that left turn is kind of tricky where you need to stop on a stop sign and look on your left side, right side, then you go straight and make a right turn and make a U-turn. So we're gonna see how FSD handles that. There are a few vehicles on our left side, so the car should stop. And you know, until it's clear, we can then proceed. So FSD is sitting down here. I'm gonna engage Grok one more time and ask something new. Tell me something interesting about Long Island Ron Concoma. Oh, you mean Long Island? It's home to the oldest cattle ranch in the country, still operating since 1658. Kinda wild to think about, right? Also, it's got more than a dozen wineries and a giant giraffe statue as a mascot and great neck. So it gets into this road, which is kind of not a right turn road, but it uh, seems like it saw that empty space and makes that. I didn't like that, but this is not a road that you will get in to make a right turn on red uh, light, but this is not a good thing to do. So um, really not happy with that uh, thing that FSD did, like pull out to that sidewalk kind of a uh, space and make that right turn. We're going to test that unprotected left turn right now. So let's do it, guys. <laughs> So I engage FSD for the fourth time, guys. We keep changing location here and there today in this video. I was not uh, making this uh, unprotected left turn for a long time, but there are a few humans here and we're gonna go past them and we're gonna make a left here where we can't see the other side of the road. If there is no, any vehicle coming, that will be a problem. But this is a very narrow road to make a left here. The car is being very cautious. We're gonna go straight, a stop on a stop sign, look on our left, right, and then we're gonna proceed straight, make a right turn, make a U-turn immediately. So we have to kind of pass three lane and then do that job. So we are going, we are moving. As you can see, we're gonna stop on this stop sign right over there. So we're not gonna make a right turn on the first lane. We're gonna make a right turn on the third lane. Let me tell you that. So there is red light on our left side, there are right light, green light, but there is nothing right now. 
So, oh, 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 very fast movement. It is just following the GPS. It shouldn't do that though, because we can't make a left or U turn. There are cars on our backside. And after this truck goes, we have some space and opening. That's why we, I allowed it to do it, but it could just easily go over there and then, you know, go from that area where there's left turn sign and the car could easily make a U-turn from there. But really don't know why FSD decided to do that. We're going to do one more time. So let's do it, guys. So I engage FSD for the fifth time, guys. I'm testing that unpredictable left turn. Last one was perfect, but I preferred the FSD or Tesla makes that U-turn from the first of like a cutout of that road, right? But it passed that area, went to the second one, though there is no vehicle on our backside. I really don't know what the FSD would do if there is a vehicle. You see that blue car? I prefer from there. But FSD, like, you know, goes a little fast and goes from the second one so there are vehicle on our left side right now we cannot do it right now and there are a few trucks on our left no vehicle on the right so we're gonna find out how FSD does things here so you can see that now this time it comes right over here very nice motion and now because of the bike wow that was that was great because that because of the bus we cannot see that bike situation but FSD kind of judge it and then, you know, like uh, go over there. So very, very good job there. So we're gonna take uh, one more um, a location or change the location one more time and then see how FSD handles this drive. So I'm gonna engage one more time. We're gonna see how FSD handles this whole last drive, guys, right? So we are moving as you can see and our car is moving and um, Till now, I didn't have to disengage one more time. The car did everything perfectly. And other than that, uh, slow confusion of Grok, you know, like, um, you know, like uh, having problem with uh, no, like a network. And um, other than that, everything looks very nice. We're going to march over here. There is a stop sign. The car seems going a little fast and now braking over there, realizing there is a stop sign. And now we are going kind of. We stop over here and now we can go very, very good. It came a little fast, definitely, while changing that lane, though it knows through the GPS that it needs to brake, right, for that stop sign. But FSD kind of went very fast and decided to brake a little hard, which I didn't like. So we're just going, we're just one minute away from our destination. And as you can see, our car is kind of not making any mistake and uh, probably, you know, like, let's ask Grok for another story. Uh, let's hear it, guys. Tell me a story about Ronkonkoma, New York. Oh, you mean Ronkonkoma? There's this fun legend about Lake Ronkonkoma that locals love to share. Picture this. Back in the mid-1600s, a Native American princess, they call her Princess Ronkonkoma, falls head over heels for an English woodcutter named Hugh Birdsall. They meet on the icy lake one winter, stealing glances and dreaming of a life together. But her tribe forbids it, and tragedy strikes. Some say she drowned herself in despair. Others say she was lost to the lake's depths after learning of Hugh's death. Now here's the spooky part. Folks swear the lady at the lake still lingers, calling out to young men, drawing them to the water's edge. Every year the lake supposedly claims someone keeping her story alive. The lake itself, it's mysterious, rising and falling with no tie to rainfall, like it's got a mind of its own. Creepy, right? Want me to dig into another tale? Uh, not really. Just can you tell me the weather of today? It's 60 degrees Fahrenheit, clear skies, and feels just like 60. Winds light from the north, and it's a crisp, calm day out there. Want more details or tomorrow's forecast? Uh, I kind of want to know that how you know my location, like um, which areas, whether you're telling me, is it in uh, my current location? I can figure out your location based on the info you share and the signals around you. But don't worry, I'm not spying or anything. I'm giving you the weather for Ronkonkoma, New York, where you're at right now. 60 degrees, clear skies, nice and crisp. If you want me to check the weather somewhere else or confirm anything, just let me know. Hmm, interesting. What is happening near New York? Can you read the latest news for today? A train derailment near Lahore injured at least 30 passengers. And in Chattisgarh, 78 school kids got sick from a contaminated midday meal, thankfully treated with anti-rabies shots. 
Want me to dive deeper into any of these or check for more local New York stories? Ah, uh, yes. Local New York stories, please. Responding officers found a man with severe injuries on a street. His ex-girlfriend and her current boyfriend nearby. In okay, car. okay. Oh. So thank you so much. I appreciate you, Grok. Um, so guys, hopefully you understand what the Grok can do and can do because it can't control your car. If I tell, tell Grok that please control my climate of the car, it will tell like I can't. Uh, but as Elon said, probably near future with the update, uh, the car, Grok will be able to, you know, like control your car, which will be great. Also, now I'm going to play a game with you. I'm going to tell you a number. You're just going to write down the number in the comment section so that I know that you watched the video till now. So in today's episode, the number will be five. So just write down five in the comment section and please, 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 guys, hit that subscribe button because that is absolutely free to support me as a content creator we're gonna make a left turn here there are vehicles on the opposite side which is too many right now so we definitely have to wait and see if there is no vehicle we can make this left turn so fsd kind of a stop over here and now after that nissan we can make this left turn it's slowly creeping very nice like a human driver so we make that left turn as you can see and our car makes that perfectly we are very close to our destination i'm gonna end the video here hopefully you enjoyed the video please hit that subscribe button that will be amazing thank you for watching and have a wonderful wonderful day